Hi everyone, this is Marguerite and today I am sharing some blank journals that I'm going to be putting in my Etsy shop. I am someone who likes to collage on different kinds of backgrounds of papers and I thought that it would be fun to put together small books or small journals with different kinds of papers. And so what I did was I took different sizes, different colors, different textures, some of them are even postcards, and put them together, cinched with a bind it all, I think, is it, is it, is it called a bind it all? Or is it called a cinch? It's the machine that punches the holes and then pushes the um, rings together to bind it together. Um, this has got a little pocket on the top. Just a bunch of random things because I think it's so much more it's so much more enjoyable to have something different that you work on. All three books are relatively the same. They have some papers that are identical and some papers that are different. This was an old Parcheesi game that we had and the dog kind of destroyed it. All the little figures. So I just saved the board and it's a really great hard cover. A couple of the pages fold out. A few little bags. And I had a fourth one, but someone who shall remain nameless took it off my desk and I found it in the living room on the floor. So I decided that I will have to keep it myself and I started collaging on it already. This is what I've done on the cover. So it is a challenge, or one of the things that I like when I do these types of random papers is that you have this additional challenge, challenge to do something with the background to incorporate it into your book. So here I just did something on the back of, of this which I made from a um, box, uh, from a cracker box. And then uh, this is the fourth one that I've done. I haven't done anything else yet. So this is, again, very similar pages and sheets of paper, envelopes, all that sort of thing. So how this came to be was I started a uh, Facebook group called Vintage Glue Books and Pages. And one of the things that we do there, besides post our collages that we do, done in a vintage style, one of the things that we do are assignments um, based on prompts. So I'll just show you my little printout here. We have 
prompts. And for example, the first challenge was to find something that it's round, a paint chip, a postage stamp, a piece of map, and anything from the grocery store. And if you didn't have one of these five, the bonus means that you would take a form or part of a form and swap it for one of these if you didn't have it. So you would use these things. You could also use a piece of pattern paper and a single embellishment such as a rubber stamp or a piece of washi tape. Um, and you, your task would be to make a collage from that. So this is a page of 10 of those prompts and I thought that would be fun to put it in with these journals as a place where you could do those assignments. And if you are interested in doing more of those prompts or um, seeing what other people have done in their assignments, uh, go to the Facebook group. It's called Vintage Glue Books and Pages and there are a lot of really great talented people and a lot of very creative people who do some fabulous things with their prompts. So um, yeah, come over and see what we do and otherwise these are journals that can be just used pretty much for anything but it's an idea to use it for those um, assignments as well. Thanks for watching.